Rest in peace, Sears Portrait Studios. A moment of silence, please, for Sears Portrait Studios. Okay, that's enough. Um, CPI Corp, which is the company, the national photographer that runs uh, the portrait studio in Sears Portrait Studios, shut their doors. They're out of business. So they kind of claim that uh, the rise of digital photography has put them down. And that's kind of like what I was saying in my video that was very popular um, when I said there's too many cameras on the market. Well, too many cameras on the market equals hmm, too many photographers on the market. So they just can't compete. So here's my top reasons why CPI Corp is down. By the way, my source is uh, the online Wall Street Journal. I'll put a link at the bottom for the, so you can read about it because I don't know all the details. All I know is they shut their doors. But, you know, as I was saying, there's just too many photographers out there. Um, number two, lack of innovation. I mean, who wants to take a picture of a black background, a gray background? I mean, I use this right here for some beauty shots and some portrait and some head shots, but rarely, you know, because I'm going outdoors, you know, those kind of companies are not going to compete today. They're just not. I mean, you are on Facebook, right? Most people's on Facebook. How many portraits, how many pictures do you see on Facebook where they like, ah, got the background going with the fireplace? You don't. They don't have those pictures. Everybody's outside having a good time. The, the pictures are taken in their lifestyle, capturing what they like to do. And that's what I do. I'm, I'm totally mobile. All my gear goes. And uh, those companies, you know, you go in there and you got the white, you got the black, you got the, the log cabin, the fireplace background, and the snow background. And, and it's the same picture. They usually got two lights. They got usually a 24 by 24 softbox right here. And they got like a hair light back here somewhere. And that's it. It's the same picture. Everybody got the same picture. And the little target on your face with the little plus sign and the photographer puts that little plus sign on your nose or your eye and presses the button next customer and that's just not that's that's just old school you know we take pictures in action kind of now or if we're with the family we're outside at a park in front of the house you know the real natural beauty of outside instead of the uh, fake backdrops um, Another reason why I think they are gone is because you can't do portraits for ten dollars. You just can't. You're gonna go out of business. You know, a lot of people come to me, and you know, I tell them my prices, and they say, "Hey, I can get this done for ten dollars at Sears Portrait Studio." Well, I kind of say, "Go ahead," you know, because I know that that particular client is not my customer. You know. You know, you go to Sears and you're gonna get what you pay for. You're gonna get the background with the light and you know all that stuff I just described and that's not what I do. You know, so I don't charge ten dollars. You know, and you know they, they bring a lot of these people in as coupons all over the place for the free portrait session. You go, you get the free session, you look, and then you, you, you get your little ten dollar package, eight by ten, wallets, whatever, and that's just not sustainable. You're not gonna make money. You're not gonna make money selling $10 pictures. Um, you know, those are my reasons why I think these companies fail. They gotta kinda get with innovation. We're not doing the phony backdrop anymore. Well, that's it. So hopefully everybody out there can appreciate the real work photographers do going out in the field, you know, taking pictures of you and your family in the conditions. So, and that's all you got for me. Like I said, I'll put the link to the story down below and according to the story you know Sears and Walmart they 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 want to still be in the photography business they are looking for other photographers or another photographer to fill they they spot so I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a hard task to do it who knows they might get local photographers in each individual stores who knows how they're gonna do it but uh, that's it I'll put the link down below and if you like this video, please like it, subscribe it, hey, and share it. Let everybody know they, they're gone, gone. So that's it, EMIP out.